Earlier in the show, we spoke with former Medicare Administrator Gail Walensky on the various health care reform proposals. Let's look now at which companies could get a boost from an overhaul. Jeffrey Cross has been covering the industry for more than two decades. He's the CEO and co-founder of Crystal Research and has consistently been named among the top 10 ranked drug stock analysts. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Good to be here. Who's going to gain from this? Well, you're going to see a broad spectrum of companies gain from this. Particularly, you're going to see the generic companies. Obama certainly wants to offer health care coverage to as many Americans as possible. Now there's a therapeutic substitute available in every therapeutic class. So you're going to see generic companies, companies such as Teva, companies such as Mylan. Those are two generic companies that will benefit. As well, you'll see the proprietary pharmaceutical companies like Novartis benefit because they have a very large generic division through Sanofi. And with, with the generics benefiting, is this a sea change in your opinion? Well, 62% of prescriptions written are generic. Now you're just going to get a bigger push and you're going to have more health care coverage providers pushing for generics than even before. Uh, I talked to uh, Gail Walensky uh, in the last half hour, the former Medicare administrator, and uh, I realize this, this might be off the beaten path a little bit, but uh, in, in your recollection, when health care reform was on the front burner during the Clinton administration, what was done wrong then and what needs to be done correctly now to get this over the hurdle. Well, I think people were very frightened back then, having seen health care reform come out and really targeting just the companies rather than targeting what you should really be focusing on, which is improving people's health care. Right. And once you take the time to explain to them that utilizing technology, utilizing the best companies can improve people's health care, and the pharmaceuticals products aren't part of the problem, rather they're part of the, the solution. That is, increasing the amount of pharmaceuticals utilized, taking cost-efficient drugs, and making sure the patients get them so that they don't end up in the critical care units. Well, will the big pharmaceutical companies that make the prescription drugs lose out if health care reform is passed? If they don't have new, novel, innovative products, they will lose out. But there's going to be companies such in the stem cell area, such as Neural Stem, which has just gotten great CNS patents. There's going to be companies such as Plurostem in the stem cell areas. There's going to be can cancer companies. Coronado Biosciences has got complete remission in a few patients uh, so far with broad enabling cell therapies. There's going to be companies such as Genspera with cancer products and ACT. So you're going to see a lot of technology companies coming forth and actually blossoming in this new arena because those with differentiated technology, those with differentiated products are going to do well, and the Me Too companies aren't going to be able to price them like they did before. And a sidebar to this, the government still wants just more dollars to go into R&D. They want more dollars to go into R&D. They want more dollars to go into healthcare information. It's been a big area that uh, uh, Obama is going to push. Companies such as Athenadate, which have uh, verification software and verification practices for electronic signatures, those companies will benefit. So you're going to see pharmaceutical companies, which are the industry that invested the most in R&D, getting a new breath of fresh air and in a more efficient arena now that a lot of the consolidation has taken place. Okay, and, and, and on a blunt assessment here, what you want is in, in, in a best-case scenario, you don't want people ending up in the emergency room. We're Correct. looking at preventive care right now, are we not? Exactly. You're looking at preventative care because if you take a look at patients, still the top reason that people end up in the hospital is not adhering to their medication. So if you can have someone who can take an antihypertension medication and be sure they're taking it, not because it costs too much or they forgot to take it, that person has less of a chance of ending up in the hospital. Low, lowering your cholesterol, less of a chance of having an adverse coronary event. So you want people taking medications, but you want them taking medications that are the right medications for them that are priced correctly. And that's what I think the new administration is going to be about. Uh, Mr. Cross, talk to me about uh, in, 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 in this new order of health care reform, how, how is that going to mean, uh, how is that going to affect the technology, specifically computerized medical records? Well, computerized medical records, that was something I was talking about with Authenidate. Companies that have the ability to um, electronically guarantee that the signature is accurate, that the records have been transported accurately to the physician, to the insurance company, the ability to have a patient have their records all in one spot and be able to transport those. And, and do people understand the importance of that because speed is life-saving? Speed is life savings. And, and if, if you end up in the hospital and I don't know what your pre-existing conditions are and I can't access your records, I could actually end up treating you in an improper manner and it could end up resulting in you being killed. Uh, you've, you've been around for a while, and I mean that respectfully. You, you've been in the business for a while. 20 some years. It, it, is this, did, you see this coming, did you see this coming? Did you think it was going to happen in your lifetime that there was going to be this a vigorous a push toward health care reform? I did, because much like other industries, I feel that you have to get companies on the same playing field. You can't have someone selling a product for a much higher price if it doesn't offer benefits and just expect the consumer just to continue buying it. And that means that the pharmaceutical companies this time will be on board? Pharmaceutical companies this time are going to be on board. They 
they don't have a choice. You're either going to have a new improved product or you're going to have a generic substitute for it. And if you don't have a product that's better than what's out there, you're not going to be able to price it higher. If you do, you will be able to price it higher within reason. Jeffrey Cross, CEO and co-founder of Crystal Research, talking health care reform. Good to see you again. Thanks. You're welcome.